Let's get this started. It's really early in the morning and I want to go to bed. Recap. To start last week off, a new collaborative show that I hope will go on for at least a few episodes uh, has begun with episode one. So basically what I do is I take a 3D object and I rip its texture map out and I clear the texture, so it's just an empty map. I then send that map to someone else, and they and I tell them to fill it in, however they feel like, whatever they want. And then they send that back to me, and then I reapply it to the object, and then we see what chaos has been wrought. Um, I'm still sort of figuring out the format of the whole thing. And then as and so as far as other images and small animations, um, I didn't really get around to doing an extra one that, I, you know, from the other one that I did the week before. Um, I do have the scene set and I do have the characters posed. I still need to apply lighting to the scene before I um, finalize the image and then upload it to uh, DeviantArt and if I get the dimensions right, Instagram. But that's because most of the week was really sort of dedicated to research and prepping to Bust this open. Yes, we finally bust open the Oculus controller to find out why it thinks that it goes forward and to the left. <laughs> um, and then once we finally did, once we've sat down and finally did that, um, I greatly underestimated how intensive that process is. <laughs> um, I'm, I just wasn't used to the, you know, to the, I just wasn't used to the process of opening up something that was so tightly, so well, you know, so carefully kind of put together. Um, plus, I didn't want to break anything. Taking apart something is a lot easier when you don't really care about it. But when I want it to go back together and work, um, there's a lot more stress and a lot more pressure. So... You know, all, all in all, though, it was successful. We got in there. We managed to apply some cleaning solutions to the places where I felt that it needed. And now the controller, in fact, does not believe that it goes forward and slightly to the left. Now it thinks it goes backwards. <laughs> so without, you know, so without engaging any of the inputs, it just thinks that you're the it's constantly going backwards. Um, and I think in reassembling this, I may have done something slightly off because now when I engage the analog stick as a button, um, it believes that it's a forward input. So touch nothing. Your character just moves backwards. Press the analog stick down and now you're moving forwards. And that's just that's just wrong. So <laughs> so I have to reopen it again and kind of take a second look at it. Maybe actually like um, maybe rub a not a Q-tip because that tends to leave residue. But um, yeah, I just have to look at it again. So this is still a process, but it does still work. So for things like you know, so it still tracks, lo you know, position location. So for things like Beat Saber and O-Shape, we're still good. But for things like VR Chat and um, there's some other, like, I got to move around this bunker to, like, smack this guy in the back of the head. Um, yeah, no. And that's about it for last week. So, you know, we'll focus more on animation and... Um, making silly little images in this coming week. But that's it for this recap. Thank you for your time. And, you know, it's it's short. At least I hope it was short. Um, but that's what makes it sweet. So 
I hope to catch your interest in the next one. Bye.